and welcome to the Weekend Entertainment Update from the Ann Arbor News. I'm Jordan Miller. And I'm Roger Lelieber. And here's what's going on in town this weekend. Friday night, Matt Watroba and Robert Jones are the next up in the First United Methodist Church Greenwood Coffee House series. You may know them from their radio shows on WDET. Jazz pianist Ahmad Jamal is at Hill Auditorium on Saturday, presented by UMS. And University of Michigan theater students put their spin on Shakespeare's comedy As You Like It through Sunday at Lydia Mendelssohn Theater. Uh, this one's set in the 1950s, which just proves how adaptable Shakespeare is, so you can expect some rock and roll. And also, check out my review in Friday's paper. What's it's it's going to be great. Oh yeah, what's in your world? Your review, I mean. Um, of well, first of all, happy Valentine's Day. You too. So, um, if you want to celebrate Valentine's Day in, you know, less of a traditional fashion, check out the uh, Bloody Valentine Party at the Elbow Room. DJs Chuck Damage, Double Plus, uh, the Hand Me Downs. I, mean, I don't know them, I don't know but them. Uh, the Tickled Fancy Burlesque Show, which is fabulous. Arson's Blazing Carnival, which is really cool. They got fire eaters and snakes and all that. Um, and that's Friday night. Yeah, that's Friday night. And then Saturday night, I look forward to this all year. It's the love bang at the Blind Pig. The love bang is my favorite of all of the bangs. Um, if you don't know the bang, it's like a big, awesome dance party. It's great. I was at the one last year. It, it, people dressed up in really unusual Valentine's-themed costumes. It was way cool. Yeah, it's a trip. Definitely dress up. Everybody does it. Um, movies? Yes, we movies. have some. Yeah, in we fact, have a lot. In fact, Jumper is one which has a lot of local interest because uh, portions of it were filmed in Ann Arbor using some students from Huron High School. Yeah, the movie's supposed to be kind of eh, yeah. but go see it anyways because it's always fun to see a movie in your hometown. That's I ended up seeing that scenes from a mall or whatever uh -huh. with Woody Allen just because it was shot in my hometown. Uh, Persepolis <laughs> is, I'm super excited about Persepolis. Um, and so is everybody else, and we're giving it three and a half stars. That's not enough. Uh -huh. um, it's going to be at the Michigan Theater, and that's, if you don't know, it's an animated memoir about childhood in Iran. Right. Uh, Spiderwick Chronicles. That's for people who need a Harry Potter fix. Uh, it's a family fantasy and uh, a three-star winner. And then uh, for you Valentines, we've also got the opening of Definitely Maybe, which I don't usually like a lot of the new romantic comedies, but this one looks good. It looks kind of cynical and realistic, which is my sort of romance. Cynicism is good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a good weekend for the movies. Hooray! It's about time. Yes. All right. <laughs> well, that's about it. Once again, for a complete look at what's going on in town, check out the daily happenings pages or go online at mlive.com slash News, or pick up a copy of Thursday's Spotlight Magazine. For the Ann Arbor News, I'm Roger Lelieber. Have fun. And I'm Jordan Miller.